Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. But who teaches the opposite of what the Bible says? The church. They got the white man's curriculum. You know when you go to school, you got a curriculum, you got a syllabus. That's the white man's syllabus. The white man taught you that that's God. The white man taught you that you nothing, that you less than him. But the Bible says otherwise. We are the greatest people that ever walked the earth, but we ain't acting like it. We catch in hell because we're not listening right. to God. You would throw it on God. You ain't supposed to reveal yourself to all the men for them to see. Breathe. Because believe it or not, that determines how they're going to treat you. Breathe. Yeah, breathe. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel, with shame faces, and sobriety, not with broad hair, or gold, or pearls, or costly array. Read it again. Though in like manner also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel. What's modest apparel when you hit this spot? He said, modest apparel. Men in dress respectfully. Ain't nobody supposed to see your thighs, your cleavage. Don't get offended here in this, because this stuff that you probably didn't know. All the stuff that I learned in this Bible, nobody taught it to me. You growing up in Chicago, you think you're supposed to follow the way, you're supposed to just be out here turning up, doing whatever. Nobody telling us this stuff, but it's been in the Bible forever. You tell me I'm a God on earth, I'm supposed to walk a certain way, talk a certain way, damn, I'm finna start doing that, because my way don't work. That's right. God wants you to dress respectfully, like for example, like what you got on today. You ain't know that. Don't wear that no more. Why? Because they get man's eyes on you for the wrong reasons. Right. He ain't trying to get to no star. He trying to get star alone. That's what he on. Right. He ain't trying to figure out what good qualities you got. Nothing. Because you revealing everything. What's the saying that the old heads say? Why well, buy the cows and get the milk for free, right? So when our sisters dress like that and they put themselves out there, they wonder, why you talking to me like that? Why you just talking to the side? It's how you present yourself. So now you're learning, I got to present myself better because God said so. That's Not because I said so or anybody up here. God want me to do this. Read. With shame faces, shame faces. The, the black and Hispanic woman got to change their attitude. Out. You know how most women is? Most of them, they pop. <laughs> Look, he know, he know. You can't be like that no more. God wants you to be what? Respectable. You can't be the angry black woman like they could pick. You know them movies make us act like that. Every move, paid in full. How the black man acting up? Come on, bro. Every move they make us what? Drug dealers, pimps, killers, baby mamas, the, the, the street walker. Every movie they make us like that. And what happens when you keep watching stuff like that? You start acting like it. I'm telling you from experience. That's right. Yep, get that. Uh, first Corinthians 15, 33, get that. That stuff corrupt your mind and you start thinking, okay, I'm supposed to be like that. Give you an example. Cardi B, all that. You got a daughter. You got a daughter. Son, we can't let our kids watch this stuff. I'm not letting my daughter watch no Cardi B. Nothing. Because this is what's going to happen if you do. You let your kids watch this stuff. Read. 15, 33. The book of First Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good matters. What happens? Evil communications corrupt good matters. Any good qualities you got about yourself, if you around the wrong people or you exposing yourself to the wrong thing, that's gonna change you. You know what else they're doing? They are teaching kindergarten, kindergartners about same-sex relations. Right. Kindergartens. 
They ain't send the parents no letter or nothing. So we can't even send our kids to school and think that they safe. They learn things that's proper. They learn things that's improper. Yeah. I don't want my kindergartner learning that. That's why we gotta learn this. We gotta come back to the Bible. That's right. What's happening, they are perverting the earth. The thing that's supposed to be right is getting told that it's wrong. What you mean a man can wear a dress? No, that's not right. He's six foot nine. Why the hell he got a dress on? She a woman. Why she wearing Jabos and Jordans and Sag? That ain't right. So we coming out here to what? Teach our people what they need to learn. So sis, knowing that, now you got to change your stuff. You got to start reading. You got to apply it. Learn more. Why? Because if you love God, you're going to do what he say. John 14, 15. Get out. Get out. You love God. That's what it boils down to. If we love God, we got to do what God say. God don't want to hear this. We love God. We have to do what he says. Guarantee, he says, when you start changing how you dress, watch. Brother going to start opening the door for you. Oh, sorry, man. They're going to treat you different. Same thing with us, bro. We start sagging our pants. Stop doing all, you know how brothers, brothers be standing like, we stop doing that. Brothers treat you with respect. The old heads be like, oh, how you doing, young man? We got to change ourselves. Read the book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Uh -huh. If ye love me, keep my commandments. That's all Christ wants you to do. You love him, do what he say. Not only that, give me uh, John 7, 38. Bring it out. Because before y'all go, I know you say you got to go, what color is Christ? Black. You That's know, right. what's your name? Why ain't get your name? Joshua. Joshua. You know what's crazy? That may sound like that's common knowledge, but our people don't know that. Right. They sit in church for hours and think Jesus looked like this down here. Point to that sign for me, y'all. They think Jesus looked like that. Bring it up. When you think Jesus looked like that, that caused you to hate your people and hate yourself. Right. You right. start to think that everything good look like that. Bring it out. That's why brothers ain't got no problem hopping out and hitting each other with switches. I just seen a video in Memphis. They fought inside the club, the usual, got outside the club and had a shootout. One on four to switch out, hit the brother, just lit him up, killed him. Bodies all on the parking, the parking lot in the club. Why? Because we got this on our mind. Everything good is white, so I ain't got no problem killing you or getting you out the way. That's why sisters punch each other in the face. That beat, that's how we think about each other. But that's your sister. Read the book of John, chapter 7, and verse 38. You know, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, what did Christ say? He that believeth upon me as what? I'm asking y'all, as what? As the scripture. As the Bible say, read, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now how did Christ look? John, not John, Revelation 1, 14. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Right. His head and his hair were white like wool. Now this is describing Jesus Christ. How did it say his hair is? That's like wool. Who got woolly hair? Who got hair like a sheep? In texture. In texture. Who got woolly hair? Josh. You. We do. We all do. Ah, uh, we all do. Blacks. Yes. That's woolly hair. So if Christ got hair like us, what they say about Christ? What color is Christ? A black man. Read. As white as snow, his eyes were as a flame of fire, uh -huh. and his feet like unto fine grass, as if they burned in the furnace. So not only did it tell you the texture of his hair, it told you the color of his feet. Your feet is the same color as your face. Right. It said his feet were so dark, it looked like he got burnt in a furnace. You burn anything, it come out what? Black. Each. Christ That's is right. a black man. That's but who right. teaches the opposite of what the Bible says? The church. Right. They got the white man's curriculum. You know when you go to school, you got a curriculum, you got a syllabus. That's the white man's syllabus. Right. The white man taught you that that's God. 
The white man taught you that you nothing, that you less than him. But the Bible says otherwise. We are the greatest people that ever walked the earth, but we ain't acting like it. it we right. catching hell because we not listening right. to God. Bring it out. Give me 1 John 3 and verse 4. So what we just talked, we just talked about what? Christ being black. Christ is a black man. Let that boost y'all self-esteem. The most famous man that ever walked the earth is a black man. That's, That's right. And he's related to you. He's related to me. That's right. Read that. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Yeah. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Why is this important? In church they say, oh, don't sin. But they never told us what sin is. Right. Read it again. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. You know what sin is? Sin is just when you go against God's word, make it plain. If they had told us that we would start doing what God said a long time ago, that's what sin is. But when I sin, it's a punishment behind it. In Romans 6 and 23. That's why we going through hell. When we Yep, last one for you. So remember, you gotta change how you dress. You gotta start doing what the Bible says. Not because I said it, because you love God. That's right. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin is death. Uh -huh. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It said the wages of sin is death. When you go to work, you get a wage. You get paid. So God said your payment for not doing what he says is death. That's right. That's why when we sleep around, what happens when you sleep around? STD or an unplanned child. Because what God wants the people on this side to do, get married. We not following his rules. When you steal, what happens? What can happen in the midst of you stealing? Somebody can kill you. The wages of sin is death. What the Bible says, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery when you mess with somebody else's spouse. What can happen? You can't get killed behind that. Or STDs. These are things that happen to us if we don't do what God says. So bottom line, you must do what God says, sis. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.